I'm Andy Torbett. And I'm Becky Biggins. And this is the brand new Endeavour B64 from Bailey, Bailey's first ever pile van conversion. Now, you may have seen our walkthrough from the Sahara Desert. Oh, did you see my hair, by the way? It's horrendous. It looks lovely to me. Oh, thank you. And now we're back in not quite as sunny Bristol to give you a more in-depth look at this fantastic van. This van can do it all. It's flexible, compact, and it's immense in performance. Based on a Ford Transit with an automatic transmission, this Endeavour features a really powerful 155 brake horsepower engine, and it proved itself when it was driven all the way from Bristol to Morocco earlier this year. The outside is fully equipped for those adventures on the fly. There's a 100 watt flexible solar panel on the roof, and the wind out full awning comes as standard. As well as that, there's an electrical slide out step to make getting into the van a little bit easier. And for safety, the, the step will retract when you start the ignition. Now we're inside, and I should say that Bex is going to love this interior. She's a, an appreciator of soft furnishings. On a practical front, which is something that interests me a little bit more, we have here the Four Season Truma diesel combi blown air heating system with the control panel just up here and that will keep you toasty warm regardless of the weather or conditions, whether it's a, a night in the desert or you're half up a mountain in the Alps. Now the interior of the B64, which I do love by the way, I'm a big fan of soft furnishings, um, but I am practical too. It has tons and tons of storage and flexible spaces throughout. It has a flush floor, which I think is a real luxury, and it's also got over six foot of headroom, which is completely wasted on me. So here we are in the lounge. It's really comfy, isn't it? Yeah, and there's loads of space in here. Mm. And on a practical note, because I can do practical, underneath here are the third and fourth travel seats. And also, this slides out to create one of your single beds. The other single bed is here, or you can combine those two beds to make one big double. And when you pop the top, that's where the other two people sleep. And that feels like another room, really, because you've got a USB charging point, you've got bedside lights, and you've got an opening skylight window up there. To the rear is the fully equipped kitchen, and although this is Bailey's first panel van, they've really made great use of the space and the light, because I love cooking by the window where I can look out on the view. And on a nice, warm, sunny day, you can even pop the back door open, give yourselves more space, and let that fresh air flow through. On a practical point, here you've got a three ring gas hob, beneath that is the combi grill and oven, and then down here is your storage cupboard for the gas bottle, and there's loads more storage space up here and all around here for your pots and pans, your food, your cutlery, and then right at the very rear is a big fridge freezer. Now Bailey really has made the most of the living space in this Ford Transit. Take this for example, the washroom is behind this very, very clever timbre door which slides so in the daytime you've got all the living space and then when you want to convert it to a washroom you simply pull the door and away you go and when you want to shower this is really clever you take up this little section of flooring and that becomes your shower tray ingenious this smart washroom design features everything you need there's a sink a shower head toilet ops, cupboards below the sink and these really handy hooks at the rear of the vehicle is the double doors, which both open. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, and actually, if you want to open these doors even further, that's not a problem. If you want the extra space in the doors themselves, these little storage bits that you call. I'm going to call them shoe pockets. Shoe pockets, which makes sense, or whatever you want to store in there. You've also got access to the table, the handle for the awning, the little cupboard for your toilet cassette, and then under the van is your 100 litre fresh water tank and your 58 litre wastewater tank. And as ever, if you'd like some accessories or some camping essentials, just get in touch with Prima Leisure. It's great to be back in the Endeavour after taking it to the Sahara. I just love this van. What's your favourite bit? I like the fact that it is a 100% self-sufficient, which means with a compact exterior, the fully equipped interior, it is ready to go for the next adventure. I love it's got a really small footprint. It's less than six metres long, less than two metres wide. The Endeavour really is the van you can take anywhere. 